hello hello aries and welcome into speak life my name is mia today we will be pulling weekly messages for you all right beautiful you got three right off the bat okay so you have here breaking trail a breakthrough is at hand some of you have um Traveling lightly, simplify your life, leave everything behind that no longer is with you, um, that no longer serves any purpose in your life. Wandering path, enjoy the journey. So listen, some of you could be traveling, some of you could be going on a small journey, some of you are leaving with a, you know, a, a success I'm hearing that you don't have any plans on returning, okay? Um, let's see. <clears throat> Please universal energies. Oh, okay. Oh my God. I'm so sorry about that. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Wow. Wow. This is gorgeous. The world is showing up for you, Aries. This is a brand new life, a brand new chapter in your life. This is reaching the end this is learning all the lessons this is the glow up for you this is graduating this is being the most important person in your little circle okay um let me get two more messages for aries this is for those of you that have done the work that has been needed so that you can be on a better path. So we also have here the Page of Swords. So some of you could have discovered something. Um, Page of Swords, this is, you know, this could have been somebody stalking you, you stalking somebody, you know, watching somebody very fucking closely. And then you have here the Emperor. Taking control of your own life or dealing with somebody who is very controlling. Okay, so we're going to clarify these to see what comes up for you, Aries. Um, the emperor is somebody who is very important, very VIP, you know, um, <clears throat> his way or the highway. You know, he's a funny little character and he's, a, he's actually a big character, okay, because he's one of the most powerful people on, in the entire deck. Um, you have here the devil energy. Okay, so some of you are opening up your path as you are um, driven into some temptation. With the devil energy here, this is low, toxic. This is, and I'm going to tell you, with the emperor here and the devil, I feel that for some of you, you could have been in a karmic relationship with this person, you know, and you were like bounded to them, you know, restricted to them. Like you felt like you just couldn't move. It, it could have been something even kind of forbidden. You know, you also have here, look at what popped up, the, the hierophant. So some of you could have been married to this person. Okay. And I'm going to tell you, others of you had a spiritual awakening um, either through your, you know, with your spiritual guides. Okay. With the hierophant. But some of you may be married to this individual. All right, let's see what else we have here. Why is the Hierophant here? Why is the Hierophant here? Listen, sometimes even the people that we married are sent to us as a lesson. You know, this is, this is in comparison to the 3D where people just kind of stay married through thick and thin. Now you don't have to do that. In the 5D energy, you know, in the 5D dimensional energy, you are allowed to walk away so that you can grow, you know. Um, you have here the Six of Wands. Moving on victoriously on your journey with no intentions on returning. This is rising up from the ashes. So I feel that for some of you, you did disconnect from a karmic energy, okay? And you have here the chariot. Holy fucking um, getting through. Okay, so with the chariot here, again, this is a trip with no intention on returning. So some of you are running away from this life to start something brand new, you know, with the world here, <clears throat> six of wands, and the chariot. You also have here the queen of cups. 
So some of you may be loving and caring or looking for somebody that's loving and caring, you know, very intuitive. I don't know. I'm picking this up as your energy, you know. Um, all right. There we go. <clears throat> I know the cards are backwards, but King of Pentacles. <clears throat> so for some of you, I'm going to tell you, you're looking for somebody who's successful, who's loving and caring and all the, like you want the whole package. You know, if you're going to sacrifice yourself for someone or you're going to start a brand new beginning, I feel that for some of you, you're going to look for exactly what you want. And I don't feel that you're going to be making any compromises. Um, why is the page of swords here? Please universal energies, page of swords, page of swords. You have here the two of swords. Okay, and the hangman, holy fucking suspension, okay? So some of you in the past, okay, as you can see, this is self-sacrificing yourself, like I said before, okay? I even said it, okay? I didn't see the card, but I had the feeling that some of you were self-sacrificing yourself in a situation in the intersection with the two of swords, not really knowing what you wanted to do, where you wanted to go, just suspended, you know? And when you are suspended, the only thing, let me tell you, some of you began to spy and some of you discovered something, okay? <clears throat> These universal energies. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Whoa. Why is the emperor here? Okay, there we go. Nine of Pentacles. Some of you are saying, you know what? Taking control of my own life, independizing yourself. If you are with someone who is controlling, who is very being very manipulative, you're like, you know what? Decision has been made. I am going to enjoy my life. I am going to do it alone until I find somebody who is worthy, okay, of deserving my love, okay? So with the nine of pentacles, beautiful. <laughs> what did I say? Some of you are not going to stop where you are. Some of you with the king of pentacles, I feel that, you, I mean, the king of cups, you're looking for somebody who you love. You're looking for a person that is more like you, okay? You're looking for that relationship where it's like, you know what? Let's love each other. Okay, this is the queen and the king of cups. Okay, there is nothing wrong with not having to self-sacrifice yourself with somebody who doesn't meet your spiritual requirements, you know, um, who doesn't really know how to walk the path with you. All right. Okay, listen, I hope that this was able to help some of you. Listen, take advantage. The new world is here for you. And for some of you, there is going to be some type of success in your life where you're going to be enjoying your life, okay? So um, listen, go travel, have fun, and get your life in order. Thank you so much for being here, Aries, and take care.